I'm not surprised. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. It's that time again. It's time for another episode of Chingasso's Combat Crew. It's your boy, Frank, right here. I got a whole jam packed episode of UFC goodness. It's the last month of October. We've fresh off. One of the spookiest weekends of all time. Let's get started. Let's talk chingasas. I hope your week is getting off to a wonderful start. Much better, much less spookier than we just had this past weekend. Let's start with this heater of a rumor that I heard earlier last week. I don't know if you heard about this, but Kyle Bahayo has his sights set on UFC 3 turn 312 down under in Australia, and he wants to get a piece of Israel Adesanya. Now, I heard another rumor that Izzy was studying a different middleweight fighter, Brendan Allen, possibly. Uh, I'm not sure who. I, I might be wrong on that, but Kyle intercepted that message as well, and he's like, yo, bro, I promise to stand in the middle of the ring, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, throwing hands. But the moment you try to take, and, I, and he also said that he promised not to shoot any takedowns, but the moment he tries to kick him, he doesn't know what's going to happen. So I'm all for this fight. This might be a lot more than Kyle Bohayo can chew, but it would be a damn good fight and a really awesome test and a good way for Izzy to test the waters um, and take on a young line, man. I don't know if he's got that left in him or if that's what he wants, but uh, it would be good for us to see. All right. Another fight that I heard, and I haven't heard anything other than this. This might just be some, some Reddit smoke. But uh, I came I came across this little thread or this little post that someone put up. How does this? How would this sound? Michael Venom Page versus Leon Rocky Edwards in the UK, April or May of next year. That would be amazing, and that would be enough time for maybe Tom Aspinall to fight the winner of Stipe John Jones if the winner of that fight might want to keep their name in the cage for a little while longer, huh? But uh, if anyone out there is listening, any matchmaker, anybody with some pool in the UFC, make this fight happen for us. For the love of everything, please. All right, man. You know me. I love some Dana White versus Francis and Ganu Smoke. And earlier in the week at the UFC 312 press, or actually UFC 308 press conference, Uncle Dana was asked something about Francis and Ganu. And I'm not saying he got triggered. But uh, he seemed to be a little perturbed about the question. What the and fuck? And in his response, he actually said that at one point, back in 2018, when Francis was off, coming off of a loss or a couple of losses, he was ready to cut him loose and had to be talked out of letting him go. Can you freaking believe that? There's no way I believe that story for a second. I know you tell a lot of lies, Uncle Dana, but I know you don't believe that one, man. There's no way you believe in that one. Well, Francis Ngannou responded. You know, he's fresh off his big old uh, PFL victory over Henning Pereira over there. And he said, Dana has lost it. This situ has lost in this situation, and he cannot stand it. So Francis walks away from UFC, makes a bunch of money, Rubs it in. Actually, he's not even rubbing it in Dana's face. It's just somehow getting like blown into the fan and getting tossed right into his face. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure this story is not done yet. And we will hear more as Francis does not seem to be done in his career yet. Right. So check out this clip, man. I got on the screen right now. Uh, Francis Ngannou's coach, Eric Nixick. Let's go full screen on this bad boy. So this is Eric Nixick talking about. Uh, the discussions be with Francis Ngannou, Eric Nixick, and the UFC. So I believe Eric Nixick was part of the negotiations. And uh, let's just hear what he had to say, man. So this is before Francis left UFC and signed with PFL. 
He's he's doing what he feels right for him. And, and I'll tell you this. We met with Dana and Hunter, me, Dana, Hunter, Francis. Um, after the fight, we had a great dinner. And things were going in the right direction, I felt. We got in the car, and Francis looks over at me and says, if I sign this deal, if I do this without making any change, without doing all the things that I said I was going to do, I'm just another sellout. And I refuse to do that. He goes, I'm happy. I have more money than I ever imagined. I'm in a position that I never envisioned. And I have a, a stance where I can make a difference. And I went home thinking to myself, man, this dude is willing to, to stand up for what he believes in, what's right. And I'm going to have that dude's back 110%. I know we walked away from a lot of money. All of us did. But I believe in the next chapter because I know the author. I know, I know what he's capable of doing. Damn, that's what's up, Eric. You talk about your boy having your freaking back, man, and it don't matter. So as we already know, we already know how the story ends up going. Francis ends up leaving UFC, signs with PFL, goes on to box not once but twice, gets two gigantic bags, goes back to PFL, gets another big-ass bag, beats the dog shit out of the guy that people were saying, hey, this guy might have your number. And now he's just sitting there sitting on a stack of money. And Uncle Dana's like, you're going to get more money over here. God damn. Yeah, I'm dropping facts, bro. I'm just dropping facts. Don't let me get, don't make me keep cooking. All right. So stay tuned. 2024 is about to wrap up. I bet we're going to hear more of Francis very, very soon. Possibly another fight, another box, a boxing match. Now, my God, my God, what a freaking weekend. This whole week was winding, the, winding down for this humongous card that, I mean, I honestly didn't think that it was going to be this big of an event until it got to like Tuesday. And then I was like, oh my God, there are so many good fights on this card that I cannot wait to see. So as you guys already know, our boys over at UFC, they do not like when we play post UFC clips. So I'm going to have to block this out somehow. But if you want to watch our clips, head over to our social media at Chingasa's crew at whatever media you'd like. TikTok, Instagram, Threads, X, Threads, whatever you want, want to call it now. Let's talk UFC 308 fights. Now, this was the main card, or not the main card, but the main fight of the prelims. Ibo Aslan versus Rafael Cicada. Now, both of these dudes were coming in with big fat zeros at the end of their records, and it did not take very long for one of these guys to step up and say, yo, bro, I'm the man. Check this out. And DC spoke on Aslan. And DC spoke on Aslan's walk. Yes. Oh, Jeff. And DC Fuck. And DC spoke on Aslan's walk. Yes. Oh, jab early. Okay. Three, two. And like I was saying, it didn't take long for Ebo to. Bam, there we go. Cool, cool. All right. 
Start over. Three, two. All right. So let's talk about the bangers I got here on the screen right now. The main card. I'm sorry. Here we go. Three, two. All right. Let's jump into this. The main fight of the prelims. Main event of the prelims. Ipo Aslan taking on Rafael Sequeira. And both of these big dogs had zeros at the end of their record. And we are in round one, about 29 seconds into it. And it did not take long for one of these big guys to step up and be like, I'm the king here. Check this out. Ebo Aslan dropping hammers here. Big left. Rafa does not like this. And in the slow-mo replay, you could actually see his eyes go cockeyed for a sec. And he, I don't know, he got stage fright. He just froze, man. He was on ice and Ebo just freaking cooks him here left right left right left right mark goddard has no choice but to step up and save his life there man check this out Ebo, man coming out of no i mean i know dude's been on a little streak but he hasn't fought anybody i think this dude's ready to jump in at the bottom of the 15 or 15 through 10 in the light heavyweight bracket man i don't know who's there but whoever's next y'all better watch out man you got a problem on your hands now this was